Warning! This video contains spoilers for the entire Tokyo Mew Mew franchise, the OG manga, the OG anime, and the Tokyo Mew Mew reboot anime. Viewer discretion is advised. Please feel free to turn off this video if you want to avoid spoilers. Thank you! Hey guys, it's me, Oblivion. Last time, I made a video about Lettuce and how I felt that Tokyo Mew Mew Nu didn't portray her as well as the original anime or the manga did. But while I was working on that video, I was reminded of another character that got even worse treatment. Everyone's favorite high-class lady, Mint Aizawa. If for some reason you're watching this video and know absolutely nothing about Tokyo Mew Mew, the series was a 7 volume manga series created by the late Mia Ikumi, which got adapted to a 52 episode anime in 2002. A reboot anime titled Tokyo Mew Mew Nu premiered in 2022 and was meant to be a more faithful adaptation of the original source material. This isn't anything new to media and especially to anime and manga, so this news is very exciting. Unfortunately, before the anime even premiered, there was some skepticism from longtime fans, and we all later learned that maybe we weren't worried for nothing. One of the first things we learned before the reboot anime premiered was that Mint, one of the five main characters of the series, would already be a Mew Mew before the start of the first episode. This was met with a lot of confusion from fans, as there wasn't really any real reason for this change. After watching the episode, it just seemed this was changed just to get Ichigo and the other girls all in the same place at the same time to get their Mew Mew powers, as opposed to it being by chance or finding the right people for the job conveniently all in the same day. This isn't necessarily bad on paper, and it was executed fine, but something about it felt a little bit off. In the original anime and in the manga, Mint becomes a Mew Mew after her dog turns into a chimera animal and she transforms to help Ichigo turn her dog back without hurting him. Because if there's one thing rich girls are gonna do, it's they're gonna go to war with their small dogs that can fit in their purse. This moment does happen in New later on in the series and it is an important part of Mint's character and great foreshadowing for later in the series. But to me, it felt a little off to include this since Mint's love for her dog, aka another living creature, is what gets her to transform and fight to save the Earth in the first place. Changing her origin and motivations made the event have less of an impact and left the moment a lot less memorable than the previous versions. This trend continues for the rest of Tokyo Mew Mew Nu. Mint was always a character that was pretty simple when it came to her personality and motivations, and she didn't have much screen time compared to Ichigo or Lettuce. So I think to make up for that, the team for New decided to involve her a little more by giving her more subplots and involvement with the Mew project. I think it was a weird decision to do this with Mint, since Zakuro in every version has the least solo episodes, subplots, and attention in the main cast, but it does seem like Mint was the most fitting for this. It also makes sense that Mint being the first Mew Mew, she would be the first one to use Ribbon Aqua Drops in the climax of the first half of the story. So in that aspect, I do like this change. But all the things the team added to Mint's character was half-baked, leaving her not only an empty shell of the character we got to know and love in the original series, but a completely different character overall. And the character we ended up getting was messy and nowhere near as memorable as her older counterpart. In the original series, Mint was simply just a snobby rich girl. She was a bit sassy and often butted heads with Ichigo. Think of the dynamic between Usagi and Inoue from Sailor Moon. Even after she has to work at Cafe Mimu, she spends her time drinking tea and never helping out with the others because she simply can't miss her tea time. She would always comment about being a lady and talk about how she's so much better than Ichigo and certain things are easier for her because of it. The only time Mint doesn't act exactly like this is when she's praising Sakuro, who she totally isn't in love with. Yes, she is. But she still talks about Zakuro in the same manner, always saying things like, Oh, this is no sweat for Queen Zakuro. She's so professional and credible. None of us, especially you, Ichigo, could accomplish what she can. The most iconic part of Mint's character is her transformation sequence, which arguably is miles better than Ichigo's even if it's shorter and doesn't have the same care as hers. The ballet poses, the music, how she does every technique correctly, the subtle body language and expressions that show her pride, her grace, her athleticism, and her talent. Even her closed eyes show off how she holds her head higher than most and how confident she is about where she stands among her peers. 
Every aspect of this transformation is perfection, and it showcases Mint so well. But most of these qualities aren't shown well in New, or even shown at all. In New, her snooty comebacks are often more playful, it come off as teasing as opposed to Mint actually thinking she's better than everyone else. So automatically, her charm of being a bit arrogant is pretty much non-existent. Even if Mint being bratty isn't the most pleasurable thing in the world, and we obviously wouldn't want friends or co-workers like her in real life situations, it lessens the overall appeal of the different personalities of all the girls and weakens the dynamic of the group, making the characters less diverse and their interactions even less so, creating less unique and engaging experiences to engage with as a viewer. And I don't want to undermine or devalue the art and hard work that the animation team put into these transformation sequences in New, but Mince was super boring and had strange angles with hardly any dynamic poses. Even if Mint was still doing a lot of ballet techniques, there's plenty more show-offy moves she could do, but they just have her in basic positions they teach five-year-olds, and she doesn't take up a lot of space with her body. It's like the psychology behind why Britney Spears was more accepted and praised than some other idols because she used her body language to make herself look bigger and more open, or something like that. I'm not an expert, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. All this to say, whether the team knew it or not, Mint's new transformation would still portray her accurately and new. As I mentioned earlier, Mint was given new subplots and new, but all of them ended up feeling rushed and out of place. One of the subplots Mint gets in season 1, where Mint is given the opportunity to study abroad in America to become a business leader of the future, or something like that. So a new thing added in this reboot is they want Mint to be a girl boss, but like an actual girl boss and be a CEO of a mega corporation. Mint is hesitant to accept due to her responsibility of being a Mew Mew, especially since this is getting close to the halfway point with the cocoon at Tokyo Tower. But this stuff is happening while the girls are trying to find Ichigo after she turns into a cat for the first time, and Ichigo's relationship with Aoyama gets more serious after he invites her to the concert. There's already a lot going on, so this randomly being shoved into the A and B plots doesn't give it proper development or seem necessary in the slightest. We know Mint isn't going to go. I know a lot of anime, especially ones centered around teams like this, aren't afraid to make episodes like this one. Some of my favorite episodes of Sailor Moon are the ones focused on Ami and Minako debating if they should stay in the Sailor Scouts in order to achieve their dreams. As the audience, we know that isn't the case. But what the Sailor Moon episodes do that Tokyo Mew 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 doesn't is they establish from the start that this is what the girls would be doing if they weren't Sailor Scouts. Sailor Moon isn't afraid to show the girls missing their old lives and how dire the battles can be and what the consequences are. The melancholy and wishing to go back to an older time is an allegory for coming of age stories, where as much as we want to go back to our childhoods, we can't. And we have to accept we can't turn back time or change the choices we make, whether it was emotionally or rationally made. Plus, the Sailor Scouts are normal girls. The stakes are higher for them. Mint is an aristocrat that has money and connections. She, in theory, can achieve becoming a CEO from inheritance or connections because her family has power. So no matter what decision she makes, it comes off strangely. What does Mint really lose if she doesn't go to study abroad? And maybe this would work if they still kept Mint lazy at Cafe Mew Mew and show her dedicated to her business related work instead, but she's a decent employee at the cafe, so it doesn't even make her seem like she's passionate about this endeavor in particular. If Mint left the Mimis to study, it would just make her seem selfish, since she's guaranteed to succeed in life. But her staying also seems weird because it's not showing how much she actually cares, and she's not really giving up anything. It's harder to believe she cares about the others because she's completely lukewarm to everyone besides Zakuro, who she's still crazy over, or Ichigo. While nowhere near as often in the original, she still belittles and isn't afraid to let her know how she feels. It doesn't come off as Mint secretly caring about Ichigo, but just that Mint wouldn't really mind either way, so the bond feels more strange than it should at places. Which is a weird pill to swallow given that the one thing I do really like about New is how the girls seem to interact and hang out as friends a lot more, at least in the earlier episodes. But I think once the bond is established overall, the dynamic falls back into this strange coworker type one and not like the tight-knit group that we got to see before. Another subplot is early into season 2, 
where Mint has this entrepreneur idea to make these small wind turbine generators that take up less energy but provide more power than the standard large ones we all know, which then end up being better for the consumer and for the environment overall. She comes up with this idea overnight after she runs away from home because her dad and her older brother say she's too young to be a business owner right now. Oh yeah, I should mention that Mint's brother is not in the manga, but he was briefly in the original 2002 anime. This time around, he's much more present and new as a CEO for a smaller group under the Aizawa company, who are an environmentalist group now, I guess? And Mint wants to help, but because she's too young, her brother and her father won't allow her to. So, to stop being treated like a kid, she comes up with the product, and knowing her brother will deny her idea, her and the rest of the girls sneak into the brother's company and they build a generator themselves to prove herself. Not only does the prototype not make anywhere near enough power as Mint wanted, but the generator is causing the Chimera animas Pai had just unleashed into the city to be attracted to the wind it's creating, causing the attack to destroy everything around them. Mint, heartbroken from learning that not only did her invention meant to help the environment end up causing harm, but it didn't work out in the first place and needs to be destroyed. Ichigo then responds to Mint saying, Mint, you can't just give up on your dream. It's your dream. And you worked so hard on it this last day and a half at most. You can't give up so easily. And then the girls decide to fight the Chimera animals without destroying the wind generator and Oopsies, they get caught up in the wind immediately, can't attack, and Mint destroys it herself in the end. After the day is saved, Mint's brother shows up and asks Mint why she went behind her, his back, to which she replies saying that she wants to show him and their father that she isn't a child and she can do great things on her own. But her brother asks, no, Mint, what do you want to do? You wouldn't have involved your friends if it was just a personal matter against me. It seems like this big epiphany where Mint learns something about herself and decides to do something else instead, but that doesn't happen? All that happens is she says to herself, I know what I want to do. And then this is never touched on again. This seems pointless because if the moral of this episode was that Mint wants to save the world by being a Mew Mew and doing things in her own unique way, she already came to that conclusion just a few minutes ago. She decided that she treasures her friends more than a failed project. What else was she supposed to learn here? In the Tokyo Mimi server I'm in, all of us just kind of guess and what this was supposed to mean, such as the advice her brother gives her makes her realize she doesn't need to grow up too fast or she can prioritize her Mimi powers right now, but none of that is spelled out. And I don't think every message in every piece of media needs to be spelled out, but when nobody can tell where the episode goes with this, it's a failure, especially since this is never mentioned again. Pretty much nothing noteworthy happened in this episode because Mint kind of already came to this conclusion back in season one when she decided to not study due to her Mimi duties. It's just a waste of time, but that's not even all of it. Near the finale of the series, when the aliens cover all of Tokyo in these dark clouds and unleash a bunch of monsters, Mint is talking with her brother about potential issues of their projects being attacked, and she's having trouble getting through to him to halt their projects because she can't mention the aliens or why she knows so much about them. When the girls need to get together to fight, Mint tries to leave, but her bodyguards won't let her due to her brother wanting to keep her safe in their mansion. In the process, Mint drops her phone so she can't contact anyone else. So while everyone's wondering where Mint is, she tries to find a way to sneak out or have her brother let her leave so she can go help the others. They start arguing and Mint ends up pulling the plug on her brother's computer and turns into Mew Mint in front of him, revealing why she needs to leave. After learning her alternate identity, her brother understands and lets Mint go while also giving her the coordinates for the purification system that's targeted for the attacks, and in the process helps her save the world. This reveal was supposed to be this big moment, but it lacks any buildup. Min does a Mew Mew never interacted with her brother. We aren't even sure if he even knew who the Mew Mews were beforehand. Not once is he ever seen talking about them or acknowledging they even exist. So this reveal has no stakes, no drama, no impact. The reason Ichigo revealing her identity to Aoyama is such a big deal is because Aoyama has seen and been rescued by Mew Ichigo multiple times and has also had to miss out on plans she made with Aoyama without any real excuses. 
Her Miu Miu identity risked getting revealed on multiple occasions and caused issues in her personal life. So the reveal shows how far their relationship has progressed and how much she trusts him. If the mint reveal is supposed to convey a similar bond of trust, besides just giving a reason why she has to leave, it fails. At least in the original anime, Mint had to protect her brother from a chimera animal at her dance recital, but we don't get anything like this in the entirety of New. So what stakes are there? What issues would this even cause? If anything, given the Aizawa Corp, this would just make Miu Miu's job easier because they would have more resources and could find a solution with a whole team of people helping besides just two random dudes. Also, slight side tangent, but I don't like how this inclusion of the Aizawa Corporation suddenly being an environmentalist corporation, because one, it gives Mint even less reason to be as secretive about her Miu Miu identity, and two, it just seems like corporations will solve all our problems when at least 90% of our world's problems are due to rich, greedy corporations polluting and not caring about the planet. So Mint wanting to work for this corporation, or any corporation really, seems to go against the entire themes of Tokyo Mew Mew as a whole. Because no, the corporations will not save us. We can see that in our daily lives. Mint is very much in a large, secure, air-conditioned mansion while everyone else is outside struggling to survive. And Mint's brother isn't even an asshole CEO or anything, but I don't think there's really an ethical one in existence. I don't want to get too political or too close to home given real world matters right now, but with the main message and solution of Tokyo Mimi being, there's no magic, we all need to do our part to protect the life of our planet, how am I supposed to root for the rich guys here? I'm not going to, and you will never convince me to. And this is just another random mint subplot that's present in an episode or two max to just get thrown away and then never brought up again and adds little to her character if it even adds anything to begin with. And I know this is supposed to be less about the Mew project in general or anything in regards to her wanting to be a CEO, and just going along with Mint not wanting her brother to treat her like a baby anymore, but you forget that's even part of the story given how there's constantly so much more going on and how fast all of her subplots just come and go. There's never any time for anything to settle in our brains to marinate and learn about Mint as a character. And it just makes Tokyo Mew Mew New so much more frustrating to watch a lot of the time. The one thing I do kind of like in regards to Mint's character in New is her relationship with Zakuro, but I'm at a bit of a crossroads on if I like it better than the original anime or not. I will admit, I was never big on the Zakuro Mint ship until New because before, Zakuro never really seemed to care a whole lot about Mint specifically compared to the other girls. But in New, during the episode where Zakuro joins the team, Mint wants to get stronger and perseveres despite how badly she's hurt because she wants to protect Zakuro. And seeing this dedication inspires Zakuro and she gains a mutual respect for her. Also, the little moments such as Zakuro picking up Mint on her motorcycle, or the dance sequence, or the Utena-like shot during the finale, all show a bond and closeness these two share uniquely. But I still do really like how Mint's idolization of Zakuro is her ultimate downfall. In the latter half of the original series, Zakuro briefly leaves the Mimis for a bit and is assumed to be working with Kish. Mint can't cope with the loss of Zakuro and can't transform when the aliens attack, and she can't help the birds desperately crying out for her to help them. Later, Zakuro and Mint meet back up in the field where all the birds were, and Mint expresses her regret of ever believing in Zakuro, and the two battle it out. Well, also, Mint drops the most iconic line in the entire anime. Her grief ultimately gives her the stubbornness to show Zakuro and the others that she doesn't need Zakuro to have strength, and why she's able to fly into the twister and risk her life to help the birds. Ultimately, Mint is able to find the Mew Aqua, Ichigo uses ribbon aqua drops, and the land is healed, so the birds and lots of other animals can live peacefully. In New, we never get this kind of development in Mint, despite how much more attention is brought to her, nor with how many more situations that happen to her. Something I was always taught in my classical band classes growing up was quality over quantity. How much time I spent practicing outside of class didn't matter if I wasn't putting in good practice. Or if I wasn't learning from the time I put in, I might as well have not been putting any at all. Mint is a prime example of this. In the original, Mint on paper was more simplistic, but her character was a lot richer. 
Her love for Sakura was more layered and interesting. Her relationship with her brother was one of genuine adoration. She had less hobbies and interests, but she was passionate about them. We knew Mint as a character, so we knew when she was out of character or, or she was acting strange and something bothered her. The other characters never needed to comment on it because we could just tell. New tried to make Mint more engaging, but ended up just taking too many ideas and shoving them in like sardines in a can. There's not much room to breathe, and I don't see how anyone on the team thought this was going to be accepted happily by viewers. None of her moments of the sincere care or concern for the others feels like a big deal, because nothing else about her even feels important. I love Mint. I love Tokyo Mew Mew, but I wish I could love the direction they took her in, just even a little bit. Because Mint is a fantastic character, and she's truly one of the most iconic magical girls in the entire genre. And she'll always stay that way. Thank you guys so much for watching. This ended up longer than I thought it would be. I knew I felt intensely about Mint's character and how it was portrayed in New, but I was afraid I wouldn't be able to word how I felt and just go in circles about how underwhelming everything felt in the end. Especially since Mint was never one of my f absolute favorites or anything, so I felt like despite how disappointed I was, I wouldn't have the passion like I did in my lettuce video. But <laughs> look at where we are now! <laughs> if you want to talk more Tokyo Mew Mew, I'll leave where you can go and find the server I mentioned before in the description. Let me know how you felt about Mint's portrayal in New. Did you like that she was nicer? That she had more hobbies? The new angle on her relationship with her brother? Anything else that I didn't mention in this video? Please feel free to tell all, and I'm so interested to hear what everyone has to say. Be safe, stay hydrated, and take care of yourselves. See you guys next time!